my goodness. Hey, family! Hey! Oh, wow. Today is a good day. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm excited. I, we got a great show for you today because actress and director Eva Longoria is here. And she is with the cast of her new movie, Flamin' Hot. And, you, and that's why I'm out of breath, John, because usually we have about five minutes and I do a slow walk around to get behind the door. I pray with John Murray, pray for you. I pray for the audience that's watching. And um, yeah. And um, so, but I did not get to meet Eva and the cast. They came a little bit later. And so as we were walking out, I like to go and meet the guests because sometimes people are nervous to come down. They don't know what to expect, the energy. And you know, it's just, it's, it's a way for me to connect as well, especially if I haven't met anybody. And so we had literally two minutes and I hiked up the dress all the way to my thighs. <laughs> and ran up, it's probably about 25 stairs. I ran up the stairs, didn't take a breath. I screamed, Eva! <laughs> and she was in her room getting dressed, so they locked the door. And I was like, I was banging on the door and I went, cause she was like, I'm not, I'm ready. And I was like, it's Siri! <laughs> and then I'm screaming, it's a uh, Annie and uh, Jesse. I'm like, Annie, Jesse! I can't take pictures and I'm running. And James, uh, my security, you see Big James right there, it's Big James. <laughs> And so Big James, is, it's his job to protect me like from falling down the stairs. So he moves like slow and confident. And I was like, I got one minute! <laughs> and pushed him out the way to get behind the door. And that's why I'm out of breath. And uh, <laughs> trying to run in this ball gown. It, really. it, it's, it sounds like a scene from Desperate Housewives is what it yes. sounds like. <laughs> that's exactly what it was. But I was so excited that I got to say hi to them and um, we, oh, and I'm also excited. We get to chat with single dad, Desmond Durham, who overcame the odds and got his master's degree while working three jobs. He got his master's degree while working three jobs and raising his son. So I'm very, very, When you hear things like that, it's hard to complain about stuff. When you hear people doing it, I love to find out what they did to do it. So, good morning, John. It's a really good morning, Sharon. It's a great morning Yes, it today. is. We got oh, good news. We got good news. What's yeah. the good news? Come on, tell the people. I want oh, you to share it. Oh, right here. Oh, y'all, we won a Telly Award. <laughs> I was so excited. I, I, I completely like it skipped my mind. But the Telly Awards honors excellence in video and television. And so the Sherry Show won uh, for season one the digital video with fun, joy, and laughter, our digital video. So this is so, and this was part of the digital video to let you know that I was coming to town and what was going on. So I just want to say congrats to our digital uh, video team, which is John, Tristan, Kristen, and Tori. So thank you. And, and, and Sherry, congrats to you because this whole vision starts with you. This, this laughter, this joy, this inspiration, all that we're doing with this feel good experience, it starts with you. So congratulations thank to you as well. Thank you. I do have to tell people like, this is one you didn't have to do a speech for, but I do have to say, like, when you're trying to figure out, because it was going through my mind uh, w when I got the talk show, like, how am I going to be different? And you can't, you can't say, how am I going to be different? You just got to tap into who, what makes you you, the things that make you you. And, and I just had to go, I love to have fun, and I love to make people laugh, and I love bringing joy. And so that was always my vision, fun, laughter, and joy, and that is what will make you different. D tap into your strengths. So thank you to the Telly Award. Woo! I think I got this bob in my hair. Don't I look like my name should be Verda? <laughs> when I tell you, Theo Barrett, who is Emmy nominated, does my hair, and he, he got this vision for a bob, and I looked at it, and I was leaning like this, and I said, I look like my name is Auntie Verda. I, <laughs> I look like that auntie that's at the barbecue with that cigarette in her hand like this. 
just looking at everybody, going, oh, what y'all doing? What are y'all doing over there? <laughs> that auntie that's like, I made a little something, something for y'all to eat. I brought something over. <laughs> you know that auntie that just, she looks good and she always, her hair is always kept. She always had, it, like, she works at the DMV and she looks like this every day. <laughs> Window number six is open. What you need? <laughs> you need to get your ID. You got the birth certificate. You got the social card. Well, then go sit down and while you find it. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I just feel like Auntie Verda. But thank you, Theo Barrett, for, the, for this concoction you put on my head. I love it. I love it, Theo. <laughs> I gotta say, it was a big night for basketball. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Big congratulations to the Denver Nuggets. They are now NBA champions. This is so exciting. It's always exciting. They won their first NBA championship title in franchise history. Never won, never won. This is their first time. The Nuggets defeated Miami Heat 94 to 89, and they celebrated in their locker room with champagne showers. And then, look at champagne everywhere. Wasting all that good champagne, but they, you know. And then they dunked each other in the pool. So they fell into a pool. I just... You know, they worked so hard. I just want to know, who, who came up with the champagne shower? Because if anybody's ever been sprayed with champagne, it's all sticky after you get done. Everything is wet. And then when they plunge you into one of those cold pools. But I guess it's just like the energy and the, the excitement. But I, has anybody ever asked a coach if they like the ice poured down their back? <laughs> I've never heard a coach say they love that ice when they pour it down their back. They, you know, because on the WNBA, when they win, they do, they spray them, but they do it from the neck down because they know the hair. They don't want to. <laughs> Not them sisters on the WNBA. Not them braids and them ponytails. They like, let me put on a bonnet first. Now you can spray me. <laughs> but congratulations again to the Denver Nuggets. Congrats. <laughs> okay, y'all. Um, clap if it's graduation season for any of you in the audience. Okay. Let me tell you, it is gra it's prom season, it's graduation season. I flew to Detroit for my niece's graduation, Chippewa Valley High School in, outside of Detroit, and I will never forget it. Once again, I found myself in a war for saving those daggone seats at a graduation. <laughs> when I tell you, I don't know what it is about a graduation that we are like a stampede trying to get those seats. <laughs> And then, the, the, here's the thing, they only give you about six tickets, but there's 18 people coming <laughs> to the graduation. Now, these are the same people that we asked, are y'all coming to the graduation? No, you know, we can't make it over here. And, and so-and-so got to do this, and I got to take... And they're always the ones showing up don't have no ticket. And you can see them pacing back and forth, and wait, wait a minute, they say I can't get in the place without my ticket. Where's the ticket? Who got the tickets? Just pacing back and forth, and we were there at Chippewa Valley and they had it in the football field. I don't know what happened to graduations. They used to have them in the auditorium. But now they put them out in the football field where it's the blazing hot sun. We, and then we get in, the girl didn't even ask for the tickets. I said, no, you gonna take these tickets. You gonna take all I had to these tickets. So it's me and, oh my gosh, and my niece's mama, Shamika. We're trying to save seats. Shamika wants to save three rows of seats at the graduation. I said, three rows? You supposed to have seven of us sitting here with you saving three rows? Because, you know, people get mad when you save those rows of seats because we got there early. So when people come, and we, now here we are, we got three rows. I'm sitting on one row going, this oh no, this a row. <laughs> This is it, their people are coming. And then she's on the other row with a foot on the, on the, <laughs> on the row in front of her. So, and the people are coming, they're like, well, they're not here. And I'm like, well, just because they're not here don't mean they're not here. <laughs> they're coming. And then I pretend to get on the phone and go, y'all near? You coming? Okay, yeah, they're coming. And we're trying to save these seats, but we're, let me tell you, we're in Detroit. So there were some people, this is not LA trying to save seats. This is the D. And people were looking, going, if there's nobody sitting here, I'm sitting down and I will fight you <laughs> over these. Now, now my cousin Shamika, she's down. She's like, I got one foot here, but this other foot I'll put right up your, if you, <laughs> now. 
Now, meanwhile, the niece is down there. Kennedy's down there. She's having a great time in her cap and gown, but I can see her getting nervous because she's looking up at us because she knows she can feel the energy of something about to go down with these with these seats. So not, and I said, Shamika's ready. Shamika's like ready. And I said, Shamika, I got my whole life ahead of me. I can't be, <laughs> I can't be fighting everybody over these seats. So we gave up a one and a half of the rows. But then everybody who came kept complaining because you can't put on, you can't do umbrellas because nobody else can see. So you're sitting there and I don't know, y'all, when you have a graduation schools, Chippewa Valley High School, y'all need to provide some cushions because those of us, <laughs> our, my booty is not that big. I was hurting on those hard <laughs> seats. So everybody's complaining about the heat. You knew it was hot when we invited you to the graduation. I can't take it. I'm gonna pass out. Where's the bathroom? Why, why is it taking so long? When's she gonna graduate? Oh my God. <laughs> and I'm looking at everybody going, do you know I almost lost my life trying to save this Rosa? Now everybody's sitting there. They want to get up and go in the shade and sit in the shade where it's cool. So now we got all of these empty seats and those people that we wouldn't let sit, sit are now looking at me like, yeah, I'm coming for you. You the first one. <laughs> So, you know, and the thing, you got these graduations and you got to walk on the grass and walk in the dirt. And I accidentally wore the big platform heels. That's when your feet start hurting. And then I just knew, and then they didn't have a bathroom. They didn't have, oh my gosh, they didn't have, and I, that's when you go, how long, friggin' 10 o'clock till 12? How many people graduating? <laughs> Oh, my goodness. And then uh, my family, I told them, I said, I think that people are going to recognize me because, thankfully, I believe the Sherry Show is it number one or number two in Detroit. It's like... Oh, they, they love us in Detroit. We're, we're a hit in Detroit. I don't know where we are in Detroit, but they do love us. And so I said, I think people are coming up to take pictures with me. And so this is family. Family will always let you know that you ain't nobody, you know? <laughs> <laughs> And I told Shamik, I said, I think it's gonna be a lot of people that wanna take me. She goes, girl, you ain't nobody, don't nobody know you <laughs> out here. <laughs> and, and darn it, if people were taking me, you know, but here's the people in Detroit, they didn't know who I was. They kept coming up to me going, uh, you somebody, everybody staring at you. <laughs> Who are you? So I, I, I ended up taking pictures and Shamika is getting mad because she says it's about, it's not about me. It's about, you know, Kennedy is graduating. And I go, but I'm, you, look, I helped you say these rows of seats. So can I just have a little bit of time? But we, we made it through the graduation and, and congratulations, Kennedy. My niece were graduating <laughs> from Chippewa Valley. Now y'all, my son's graduation, Jeffrey's graduating tomorrow from high school. <laughs> And I talked about this before. We talked about taking pictures with the other... His dad is coming to town. His dad is coming to town in about... Uh, he landed in about uh, three, four hours, so the countdown is near. He's coming into town. <laughs> I, can, I can feel it in the air. I can feel it in the air. <laughs> So we, we got to figure out we got to figure out these pictures because you know Jeffrey's excited about his dad coming to town, which means that I gotta I got I think I'm gonna watch Jeffrey through the glass so he can, <laughs> you know. So I don't know what's about to go down at that graduation, but I will let you know. <laughs> so congratulations to all of the graduates who graduated college and high school, preschool. And, and I feel bad for all those people who sit on those hard seats at Chippewa Valley High School and they got hemorrhoids from those hard seats. Congratulations to everybody. Now, y'all, Taylor Swift is on tour and everybody is trying to get tickets to see her concert. She was in Detroit when I was there and it was a mess downtown. Now, at her latest performance in Detroit, a surprising fan joined the Swifties. Oh. It was hip hop legend Flavor Flav. Oh. posted a video of him fanning out as Taylor Swift performed. Look at him. He, and, and so Taylor's young fans showed him love. They gave him these uh, bracelets. And when I think about it, I would have never thought that I would see Flavor Flav at a Taylor Swift concert. I could see Flavor Flav jamming at LL Cool J's concert, at a Drake concert, but Taylor Swift? Never in my wildest dreams <laughs> at all. I just got to shake it off. I was just so. <laughs> and I can see, I can see Flavor and Taylor Swift singing him going, yeah, boy! <laughs> but I 
know that those kids were at the concert going, who is this man? And why is he wearing a clock around his neck? And I, the thing I have to say to Flav is, Flav, you, you know, that's an analog clock. You gotta get electric. But these kids don't know how to read. They don't know how to read that analog. But when I tell you I love Flavor Flav so much because he is actually one of the nicest human beings you would ever want to meet. He remembers everybody's name. Every time I see him at the airport, I'll hear behind me, yo, Sherry! <laughs> and, and he's so kind, and I can see why Flav gets so many women. <laughs> you can't, you, he gets a lot of women. He's been married a few times. But you can't be mad, mad at Flav because, like, y'all remember the flavor of love, don't you? The flavor of love. Now, that was excellent programming and amazing content <laughs> because Flav gave us some stars. He gave us New York. He gave us hoops. He gave us delicious. And, and, and he made Brigitte Nelson popular again, remember? I, I think about that show, that was must-see TV for me. Those were the days, and now he is a Swifty. So, Taylor, what I say to you, you better watch out, because he gonna give you something to write about, okay? <laughs> Flavor Flav. Because, you know, Flav... Flav has... He's got... He, you, he would be there because of his kids. Flav has a lot of kids. I, I tried to Google how many kids Flavor has, <laughs> and Google said, you on your own with that one. <laughs> that... So, Flav, you go ahead. I hope you enjoyed the concert. Flavor, Flav! <laughs> oh, my gosh! Y'all, don't go anywhere, because up next, actress and director Eva Longoria is right here. a director to watch in 2023. She just made her feature film directorial debut with the new movie, Flamin' Hot. Yes. Which was Searchlight's most watched streaming premiere. Now, Flamin' Hot is about the creation of everyone's favorite snack, the Flaming Hot Cheetah. Please welcome Eva Longoria! Remember Oprah's couch with I this know. color? Was this like... is why I had it this color. Yes! Oprah, yes. Oprah, yes. Oprah, I feel that. I was I like manifesting it. everything. I Look, I gotta tell you, I'm so excited to see you. And I don't know if you know this, but we have a friend in common. Yes. Nisi oh, I do Nash. Know this. Nisi. Nisi. You've known each other for a long time, but yeah. you both, congratulations, received the Trailblazer Award by the Hollywood Reporter. Yes. Yes. But I gotta be. <laughs> Every time I talk to Nisi, when I talk about you, she takes credit for your career. My career, career yes. 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 Would you please tell me yes. this? Yes, Nisi is responsible for my career. I was doing some really weird pilot. I don't even remember what it was for. And yes. Nisi was in the audience, and she goes, that girl's going to be a star. And she said, she said it in the universe. She said, I don't know who that is. And I was, this was before Young and the Restless. This well. was before everything. And she goes, that girl's going to be a star. There's something about her. She's going to be a star. And she told me years later that she had said that. And so, yeah, it's all because of Nisi. She wished it. <laughs> she wished it into, <laughs> into existence. And she would never let you forget no, it. No, no, no. But it was great to get the Trailblazer Award with her because yes. we, we've known each other for that yeah. long. I mean, You've it's been like so 20 far. years. Yeah. Absolutely. And I got to tell you, Flaming hot. You did it. You did it oh, with this thank one. Congratulations. You. Thank you. Because you've directed a lot of things on TV, but this yeah. is your first feature film debut yeah. with Flaming Hot. Yeah. Can you tell us even more about the movie? Yeah, so um, y'all do y'all eat flaming hot Cheetos? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. So, uh, there is, uh, it's, this is a story about Richard Montañez, who was a Mexican janitor at the factory, and he came up with a brilliant idea of like, what if we put chile on chips? Uh, you know, we eat chile on everything, right. Mexicans. And, uh, um, and he had the audacity to pick up the phone and call the CEO. He came up with this little, you know, his own kind of uh, samples, and he called the CEO, and the CEO took the call, and he said, wow. you know, tell me about your idea, and, and he pitched his idea, and now it's a multi-million dollar product. Wow. 
It is. Number one snack in the world. They're flaming hot. We yeah. got them everywhere. And they're flaming hot. There's flaming hot makeup. There's flaming hot clothing. There's flaming hot uh, sushi. There's flaming hot ice cream. Like it's it's really transcended snack industry, and it really. Uh, inspired an entire spicy uh, category where wow. everybody has a spicy version of something now. I love this, yeah. and, and and you're at the helm of it. Devon uh, Franklin, Franklin yes. was one of the producers yeah. on it, and he said that you didn't ask so for the handsome job. Devon is. Look at Devon Franklin. I get Franklin. one more DM asking about Devon Franklin. Yeah, because he's single. He's because, single. Yeah. No. Yes. But he said <laughs> he said that you 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 like you you didn't ask for it. He said you took the job. Yeah. I love this. And, and watching women be a boss. How mm -hmm. how did that happen? Well, my I got the script and my agent called me and she's like, hey, you should throw your hat in the ring. I don't think you're going to get it because a lot of directors are going in on this. You haven't done a film. Even though I had directed a lot, um, she's like, y but take, take a look. I read it. I became obsessed with telling his really? story, Richard Montañez, because I was like, I am Richard Montañez. I've been told no. I've been told opportunities aren't for people like you. Yes, exactly. Uh, ideas don't come from somebody who looks like you. Mm -hmm. You're a girl, you know, and I was like, no. And I loved, you know, that in the movie, Richard dares to ask, but why not me? Why can't yes. I be great? And so I thought, you know what? I want that message to be out. That message is a beautiful message in the world, and we need more movies like this and we need more storytelling like this so yeah I went in and like berated them into giving me the job and I really I did act like I had the job because I really thought I had the job I was, <laughs> really yeah, yeah I was like this is what I'm gonna do this is what the movie is this is what we're gonna say this is how we're gonna represent the Mexican-American community because we've never seen ourselves like this on TV on, on film or on any screen we don't right. really get to see ourselves in a positive portrayal and so I thought I was just I was determined to to get this job and you got that job and I Got you it. Walked in there and you got that job. It's so funny because I can so relate to Flaming Hot because being told no so much, so especially much. With, with this talk show, being told no yeah. by so many people. But being, you know, a Latina director mm -hmm. and this being your first film, yeah. did you feel any pressure or the weight? on your shoulders yeah. to get this right? Oh gosh, yeah. There was like zero room for error because not only because uh, I'm uh, it's a, you know, a story about a Latino and I'm representing the Mexican American community, but also as a woman and as a female yeah. filmmaker, you know, we don't get very many bites at the apple. We don't get to these many shots. And so if our projects fail, the industry or the network execs or whoever it is, they go, "Oh, we tried that girl one time and that didn't work. Let's just go back to, you know, this." And uh, and so we all felt, me, Jesse, Annie, we all felt, Devon, the pressure to get it right. Yeah. And we had zero room for error. But I, I, I use that as like strength and motivation. I, I carry my community in my heart with me every, yes. every moment of my life. Yes. Know, so. Girl. Yes. I love talking to a boss. I <laughs> do. Oh. And you know what? And you were a boss because the Texas Rangers had you throw the first oh, pitch yeah. out, okay, <laughs> and, at the baseball <laughs> game. And yes. you were in front of a packed stadium. And I made it. And you made it. Now, this was totally stepping out of your comfort zone. The, oh, God. Were you, Let me tell you, I'm directing the movie had nothing to do with this pressure. I, like, Because those of, fans don't play. Oh, they'll boo you. Uh -oh. Yeah, yeah, they'll boo you if you don't make it across the plate. And um, and so, and I have a bad shoulder. And so I, and Jesse was like, don't do it. Don't, <laughs> don't do it. I was like, no, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And sure, I did it. and made it to the home plate. The whole next day, my shoulder was killing me. But you got that But I got, got it, but I, it. but I did it. <laughs> Yeah, and in my home state of Texas, too, which was really, really nice to be Oh, be there home. you go. So yeah. it really meant something yeah. to do it. Yeah. You know, I'm watching you, and I'm looking at you speak, and I can't help but see Gabby from Desperate Housewives. <laughs> because I haven't aged. <laughs> That's, that is the truth. Let me tell you something, Eva. You look the same as when you... I don't know who you sold your soul to to look the same as you... <laughs> You look amazing, but I would watch Desperate Housewives every single week. Every Sunday, yeah. You know, and it, it was just like, that was must-see TV. Yeah. Did you learn any directing from oh, when yeah, you were on yeah. that set? I did. I, I used Desperate Housewives as my film school. I mean, really? Yes. I was always on set, always asking questions. I was paying attention to where the camera went and lenses and lighting and blocking. And I mean, they were really annoyed by the end. <laughs> they were like, can somebody get Eva off the set? She's here again. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was, you know, to have the opportunity 
to be on the biggest show in the world. It was the biggest show. Uh, I was like, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna learn from this. I'm not gonna just sit back. So, and yeah, and I miss Gabby. I miss Gabby Solis. Oh my gosh, I miss Gabby Solis too. But I was happy <laughs> to see because I was looking at all the pictures of, of everybody on the on the red carpet uh -huh. and your Desperate Housewives co-star Jesse Met oh, for, Me yes. Metcalf for the premiere of Flaming Hot. And, and yeah. I, I don't know if y'all remember, he was like the sexy gardener yes. like, oh, yeah. on Desperate Housewives. Oh, people was, remember. Yes. Ooh, okay. <laughs> that Jesse Metcalf. So sweet. That was my weekly eye candy right there. But to see your your former co-star, how yeah. was that? When oh, you saw him? it was great. I miss him so much. I I love Jesse. We had such a good time on that show. You know, even though I I was playing older and he was playing younger, we were the same age. Really? We were, yeah, we're the same age. And really, he's a little younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit, oh, um, but uh, so we were like we were best friends on when we were shooting Desperate Housewives. He was really great, and my and my husband Ricardo Chavira uh -huh. also because he's a Texan. We're both from you know from Texas, so yes. we, I had great men on that show. Oh man, you yeah. did. Oh, you sure did. Yeah. Now uh, you know what? I gotta keep. I, I want to talk to you further, and I want to meet your co-stars. Yes, I met them upstairs. No, not my co-stars. My cast. Your cast. Yeah, your I'm cast not in it. You're I'm not, not in it. You're directing my mom, it. My mom still goes. Now what did you do? Okay. <laughs> I'm just like your mama. Yeah, my mom's like, why are you in it? I'm like, I'm not in it. Jesse and Annie are in it. And yeah, you like your mama. You see all of this, all of this. All I, this. I did I all did this. I did this, I did this. And then what'd she say? <laughs> yeah, but you're not in it. <laughs> but you're not in it. That's all she said. But all of that you made happen. Yeah. Let me clarify. Eva did direct <laughs> Flamin' Hot. <laughs> and she is sticking around. And the stars of Flamin' Hot, Jesse Garcia and Annie Gonzalez, they are joining her when we come back. <laughs> Now we're gonna meet the stars of the movie. Please welcome Annie Gonzalez and Jesse Garcia. So Y'all look good. This yeah. you have got to see Flamin' Hot. I'm telling you, it's so inspirational. And Jesse and Annie, you portray real life couple Richard and Judy. And uh, like uh, like Eva said, Richard inv invented the Flaming Hot Cheetos. So I know that a lot of times, you know, the real people come to the set and they watch you. And while you're working, were you nervous at all, acting in front of the real life couple? <laughs> I was just nervous in general to do this whole film. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? So the pressure was on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but she's sitting there watching, especially you, Jesse. Richard's watching you. Like, did you feel that pressure of I gotta be perfect, I gotta do it this way? How you feel? No, I didn't. I did because okay. I, I had a conversation with him. Uh, I went and met him right before we started shooting, and, and we talked about his family and his life and work and his story. And I, at, during the conversation, I said, "Look, man, I'm not I'm not going to be doing an imitation of you. I'm not okay. going to I'm not going to be mimicking your voice, the way you talk, the way you walk. I'm going to be doing my version of your story with like honor and dignity. And so mm -hmm. my my purpose of meeting him." Oh. One little hair. This, this has been. She's been doing this for three years. <laughs> I see it in the monitor, and there's, there's like. A, one... uh, I was like, oh, Mama Eva. Yeah. 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 It's so, and I and I got that. I got that when I was watching you. The tenderness and and Annie. What I loved about you is you were in there right with him. You were, it, you know, and I I got that strength from you. Now you've been acting. You've both been acting, but this is your first feature film yeah. that you've acted in. So. It's always wonderful when you sh can really show people what you do and more layers, which is what I got. How big is this moment for you? Oh my gosh, it, it feels like a culmination of everything I've worked so hard for. Mm. We very rarely get opportunities like yeah. this. I mean, Eva talks about it all the time. And, and it's not that I wasn't capable, it's just there wasn't roles. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this, I'm, I'm living out my wildest dreams. Everything I've manifested is here right now, and I am not taking it for granted whatsoever. You know, 
Eva, you said that Andy reminds you of yourself yeah. when you started on Desperate Housewives. Yeah, that, yeah. She's just so energetic and excited to be here. Like, I remember, even she's like, we're at Sherry! <laughs> yeah. you know, everything is like, we are here in New York! <laughs> yeah. we, you know, Jesse and I are a little jaded by now. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, Jesse's been doing this 20-something years uh, as I have. But no, it, uh, that's how I was when I started. You know, I was just like, oh my God, this is, I'm so grateful to be here. Yeah. And we talked about this. We're trying to balance, like, we're so humble. And, and and we have so much humility in this moment and we're grateful because we know we don't get these opportunities. But at the same time, we're like, it's about damn time. time. Like, it's about time. time. Own the space, no? Yes. Yeah. That's what it is. Like, you've been working. It's in the, and now, yeah. like, people, every, the, the world is getting yeah. to see you. Jesse, but you said this the other day about how, like, you've done this or that in certain roles. So over the past, you know, I've been doing this for 23 years-ish, yeah. right? Um, Every, throughout the years, I've gotten to do bits and pieces of like comedy and drama and scary mm -hmm. stuff and like da, da 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 da. This is the first time I've gotten to do everything in one movie. Yeah. Yes. So being able to have like a bit, like an hour and a half movie where I get to show all the colors and and things that talent. I yeah. It's talent. You did it, baby. Let me tell you Amazing. something, Jesse. Yes. And I got it all. You gave it all to yeah. me, and I I loved it. And I know when you see a billboard of yourself, like oh, yeah. that's a that's a moment. And when you saw your <laughs> billboard, how did you react? I mean, just seeing yourself on a billboard, how was that for uh, you? Look, man, it's a trip. It's a trip. But I'm also like. That's how it should be. Yeah! That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I, had, I, had, I had some friends go like, who would have thunk? I go like, me. <laughs> you know what, you better stop. You gonna send me to church right now. I'm about to get up and hey. start showering. Hey. Now I gotta quickly, I gotta ask you, how many flaming Hot Cheetos did it take? <laughs> did y'all eat while y'all were shooting this movie? She ate so many. Okay, like... lies. <laughs> lies. You no, did, we, didn't eat, we didn't eat this that many Flaming Hots because they weren't invented to the end of the movie, so they weren't around a lot until okay. the end. Uh, but we did eat a lot of white cheddar Cheetos, which right. were in the machines because they had to be white. Okay. They, it wasn't invented yet throughout the whole movie. Really? So we ate a lot of those. I this is five. He had you a total five. of five, five. ever five. in his life. He's only had And had Annie, five. be truthful. How many of these did you eat, girl, once they I'm put them from on the, the hood. We have, you know what I'm saying? We have what I'm about. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I'm so embarrassed to say I've never had a what? flame in my head. I've never had, so I wanna try one. <laughs> but this, I feel like, I feel, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do three. Okay. Oh. Never? I'm never gonna have one. Oh my God, this is good, but it'll you need, you need some water? You got... <laughs> no, no, but I feel like the little boy, your son, but it's a hot good. It burns good. It burns good. Yeah. Oh my, wow, it's like burning in my mouth. This is really good, though. Okay, I see why you had a whole bunch, Annie. Yeah. This is nice. I'm gonna bring some for my cousin, Shamika. This is good. <laughs> Y'all, I want to say, Annie, Jesse, Eva, thank you so much for being here. So important. Y'all watch Flamin' Hot, watch Flamin' Hot on Hulu or Disney Plus now. And up next, we're talking to a single dad who earned his master's degree while working three jobs. Keep it here. <laughs>
Wow. Yeah, so we do it all over again. And do it all over again. Now, the university, they asked that you speak at the graduation. Mm. How proud of a moment was that for you? Uh, it was really exciting, you know, to have my mom in this presence. You know, she's in a nursing home. I'm okay. the last of her seven children. So she has always instilled a love of learning in me. So yes. I just wanted to let her know that her efforts have greatly paid off. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So I got to... I can't cry my lashes off. But DJ, how proud of you are of your, of your dad are you? I am very proud of my dad that he graduated and he also worked hard to go get, oh to be God. graduated. You know, DJ, I saw when you were a little nervous, you and your dad had this like little secret handshake. What what is that? You ready? You wanna show him? Yep. Alright, ready, here we go, here we go. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> You got your master's. Yes. What's next? Uh, I would love to become a school principal in my city. You know, okay. I'm from Newark, New Jersey. Uh, right now, I'm seeking, thank you, I'm seeking the opportunity to uh, become like a school administrator. You know, following that, I would love to start a nonprofit organization where I'm mentoring the youth, giving back to the city, uh, particularly kids. I love saving lives, and I feel like this is what my calling is. Yes, all right. We are manifesting that, we are manifesting. And I want to say, DJ and Desmond, congratulations on everything. And I know how important it is that you spend quality time with your son. So our friends at Legoland are giving you both a trip to their Legoland Florida resort. Oh. They are flying you both to Florida, where you will enjoy a three-night stay at their award-winning hotel and tickets to Legoland and Legoland Water Park with more than a dozen water slides. 50 rides, live shows and attractions, and we know you are gonna have a good time at the ultimate vacation destination for families. So I, get your swimming truck, DJ! Get thank your you. swimming thank truck! You. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just wanna say thank you so much for being here, Desmond and DJ. Thank you for inspiring you. us to go higher, and no matter what, we appreciate thank you. you. We'll be right back. Kariana from New York. <laughs> All right, so Kariana, I'm gonna show you a photo from a scene of a movie or TV show, and you have to guess the line. Now, your line is from Guess Who. Here are your choices. What you mean can I be the big spoon? <laughs> you sleeping with me now. Stop tickling my toes under the covers. Oh, oh, uh, okay. Um, Could you be sleeping with somebody now? Just, mm -hmm. are you sleeping with me now? Was that the oh my God, I kind of like, it's, I kind of like, I like the spoon, but I feel like the toast thing's funny. We ain't no Jeopardy girls. You so, just hey. gotta pick one. <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> that wasn't it. It's okay. The answer is B. Thank you for playing Carriana, but you know what? You are getting a hundred dollar gift card to Melba's <laughs> restaurant. See, we'll be right back. <laughs> Now, nobody brings the heat on the gram like actress Salma Hayek. Woo! Salma is living the yacht life, posing it up in this sexy blue bikini, giving us all the blues. At 56, Salma's letting us know she still got it. Here she is looking sultry in a yellow bikini. Salma is living her best life, and I am loving every bit of it. That's today's Hot Flash. We'll be right back. <laughs> show put a smile on your face. Tomorrow, Queen Latifah will be here. Until then, be intentional about having a good time. Bye! <laughs> nice!